on YouTube, DJ K coming to you with my quick review and thoughts on the new Jay Z and Kanye West Watch the Throne album. Uh, I pre ordered it off iTunes probably like a week ago. Woke up this morning, it was downloaded. Uh, last night, I was waiting on it to be released, and they released it at 6 a.m. this morning. So it is uh, officially out now, of course. Uh, several comments on iTunes and people who like the album. There's a lot of people that like it. So, of course, you're going to have people that call Jay-Z the gay-Z and the Illuminati leader and all this crap and all that old stupid crap <laughs> that people always say about Jay-Z and Kanye West and Rihanna and Eminem and anybody with success in the music industry. But anyway, the album is pretty good. It's worth buying. If you ask me, I think it's good. Uh, no Church in a Wild featuring Frank Ocean is pretty good. Uh, Welcome to the Jungles, nice. It's a lot of good good songs on here. The Illest Mother Effa's Alive, which I'm not going to really curse, but that song is pretty hot. The track is hot, of course. Ham, y'all heard Ham already. They put Ham on here. I didn't know Ham was going to be on here. Prime Time is nice. The Joy featuring Curtis Mayfield. Even the song with Beyonce on it is actually decent. Uh, Lift Off featuring Beyonce. Now, Jay-Z has done songs in the past with Beyonce, like on his, uh, what album was that? Is it the Blueprint 3? One of those albums, he did a song with her on it, and I didn't like, I didn't too much like that song, but his albums are, to me, every time he come out with something, it's decent, it's not whack, like some people keep saying about Jay. I mean, yeah, Jay 40 years old, but Jay knows how to make some good music. I mean, shit, by hands down, he just know how to make good songs and the same thing with Kanye West as a producer he knows how to create hot tracks and that's what you need you need that combination of hot tracks and lyrics to make a good album and that's what they did on this record and um, I think it's worth buying so uh, for you, all you haters out there that don't like Jay-Z you know it is what it is you know you, I can't really knock y'all for that because everybody has their own opinion about artists you know I might not like some of the artists y'all like like that Krayshawn girl. I don't like her shit. Hell no. Now that's whack. I don't give a damn what y'all say. I don't care. You know, like people say, my generation don't know what's hot. Whatever. I mean, whatever y'all got to say, I don't know. I must tell you like this. She's not going to have no longevity in the music industry. I'll tell you that right now. She's going to be here today and gone tomorrow. Look at Jay-Z. Jay-Z still in the music industry. And it is 2011. So what does that tell you? Wake up, young people, and get with the program and start making music like they make music. Make some good music. Quit making all this bullshit. Uh, I got rims on my car. I smoke this much weed or whatever the hell. I got this much money in my pocket. That's all y'all fools talking about. We're going hard. Uh, you know, y'all say the same shit in every song, man. So everybody copy off everybody. That's what I don't like about people. Uh, artists these days they all just don't have no originality you know and they suck to me but anyway with that being said this is my quick quick review of the jay-z and kanye west wash the throne album it is hot go get your copy and that's about it drop a comment let me know what you guys think about the album for the people who've heard the record don't be up a comment on the video if you ain't heard the album i'll be making stuff up like i ain't buying that crap because it's it's Jay, he's Gay Z or it's the Illuminati. Shut the hell up, man. DJ K is out.